What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with Zero. Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, the insanely randomized Nuzlocke, episode 39. Man, this is going on for a long time. Anyway, in the last episode, we took on Team Magma at the Space Center and started diving around some of the spots around um, Moss Deep City, or Moss Deep Island, whatever it's called. So if you want to check out that episode, make sure you click the i card at the top of the screen. In today's episode, we're going to catch... Most of the rest of the encounters in the game, I think. I think we're going to catch most of everything else. There will be a couple more that we don't get today, but most of them we're going to get today. And then we're going to make our way all the way to... I don't even remember where we're supposed to go next. So if you're excited for today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and answer our question of the day, which is going to be, what is your favorite month of the year? So... October just started and I've seen on Twitter a lot of people are like a lot of people are like really excited that it's October I guess because of Halloween uh, but a lot of people are just really excited that it's October so uh, I'm just curious what your favorite month of the year is and in the last episode we talked about what our favorite uh, we talked about what our favorite season would be and I said that summer was my favorite season, but actually my favorite month of the year goes with my second favorite season, which we said was winter. My favorite month of the year is definitely December. It's definitely December. Uh, when November comes around, I start listening to Christmas music because I love Christmas music. And obviously I listen to Christmas music all the way through December, so... And then, of course, you have December, or you have Christmas. And as a teacher, that's like the first big break. You'd like those two weeks off. So, we're going to be taking on a lot of people today. And I hope we don't die. But I feel like we might die. Also, I, I don't know about using the speed up button. I really wish I I want to use the speed up button. Because like I said, this series is going on a lot longer than I thought it would. And that's okay. It's not like a problem or anything. But it's like, I kind of expected to be done with this series by episode 39. I didn't really expect for there to be a 39. Uh, not that I'm like ready to go on to the next season, next series or anything, next season. Um, I know what it's going to be, and if you follow my channel, I mean, you know what it's going to be as well, but, uh, it seems like, I don't know, am I taking a long time? I don't think I am. I mean, I, I know I'm using the speed up button some, but I'm not using it all that much. Okay, we've already done 126. Okay, so this is... Oh. This is all Route 126. Then we have Route 127 that we need to get an encounter. Okay, then we have Route 128 that we need to get an encounter. Whoa, wait. Route 128. Then we have Evergrand. 129, 130, 131, Pacific Log. 132, 133, 134. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more encounters. That's a lot. Oh, and, and Sutopolis. Let's worry about 27 first. I do see that I can dive, but I'm not really ready to head down there. Our 127 and... Alright, it evolves. It actually evolves really soon. Use secret power. If it lives, I'll catch it. Was it meant to be? Was it meant to be? Was it meant to be? Why do these names all fit? I'm randomly generating names, and every one of them has made sense. We have Wingle the Seagull Pokemon. It makes its nest on a sheer cliff at the edge of the sea. 
It has trouble keeping its wings flapping in flight. Instead, it soars on updrafts. We will name this Wingle. Natalie the Wingle. Natalie the Wingle is a dark grass type. That sounds like a certain Hitmon top that I know. If you're unsure of what I'm talking about, you should watch Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, with pressure, gentle nature, and yeah, whatever. Scratch, splash, ancient power, dragon rage. So, a couple of those are decent. Now, what level... Let's ask Siri real quick. What level does Wingle evolve? Okay. I found this on the web for what level does Wingo evolve? Not Wingo. Not Wingo. Wingo. Oh, Wingo evolves the very next episode, or the very next level. You know what we should do? Super quick like, so we can see if we want to add this to the team or not. Shh. Let's click the wrong thing. Alright, so we're just going to level this thing up really quick. I don't anticipate it taking too long. We're just gonna evolve this thing real quick. I don't think it's gonna take but a minute. If it does take longer than a minute, then we'll just cut it out. I just, our team is a team of four. What do you have? I don't know, but I'm scared. But hey, come in. You have sheer cold. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So I could have taken it. Nice run. I feel like I've made a mistake. Alright, you have Frenzy Plant. Let me run into another Deoxys. I almost said Dragon Rage was super effective, so that would work. Here we go. All right, let's guess. We haven't done one of these in a while. So everybody cover your eyes when you hear the, the growl or the cry from the Pokemon. Guess what it is. We'll find out together. Good memories from doing this. What is it? That sounds like a, like a dog, like a Houndour or a Mareep. Or, I know Mareep's a sheep, but... A Quagsire. I don't really have one of these. Ghost Normal. Natural Cure. Gentle Nature. Okay. Sure. And why does Natalie fit? Like, you see what I mean? Natal that name fits this Pokemon. I've really got to, like, figure out who else is going to go on the team. So. And, okay. So now we've done our 127 encounter. Ran to another Wingle. Oh, I'm curious what our fishing encounter will be. Stop it. Oh, can we good? Oh. Whatever it is is the rare in rarest encounter. Okay, um so we didn't get that. I have a feeling I'm going to get yelled at for that. It's not my fault. 
I didn't know. Okay, anyway. So we did our 127 encounter. What's this way? More trainers? Do I need to take on trainers? <laughs> Does that just mean if, like, taking on these trainers, you're level what? Level 33, 34? What is this garbage? Don't use confusion on me as if you're, you're strong. You're nothing. Are we about to... Uh, you, you know what? I might just do the rest of this game with two, with four Pokemon. Trying to learn Sing. I'm good. Alright, let's continue. Let's continue. All right, I'm making an executive decision. I don't think we're gonna take on these trainers. I think we'll come back and take them on for sure. But I think right now our focus is going to be on catching everything that we possibly can. Yeah, I think I think that's what we're gonna do. I don't think there's any reason to be down here. Found black glasses. That's a thing. All right. Uh, so right now, I guess I'm just searching out items, and uh, I could have caught a chikorita. I love chikorita. Oops. Like, there's just no reason. Like, look at that. I gained 982 experience. Whatever. That's nothing. That's nothing. Oh. Oh, I found something. Is it a is it a blueberry? It's a blue scarf. Okay, I, I get some points for that. I get I get some kind of points for that. For calling a blueberry, but it was a blue scarf. Oh yeah, I I get some kind of points for that. That was dang close. All right. Let's continue on to Route 128, which is here, and we're going to make our way towards Evergrande. So our 128 encounter... I could catch it again. I could catch it again. Oh, I'm so... I feel like everyone watching this would tell me to catch it again. I think it's important for us to move on. I think it's important for us to move on. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay. If there's an Umbreon in this water, the Let's Play is over. I'm so stupid. I knew better than that. Oh no! I'm so stupid. I know better than that. Okay. We're now in Evergrande City. Our Evergrande City encounter is... A Shady Penguin. Live and I'll catch you. Okay, goodbye. Okay. That was our Evergrande City encounter. We still don't have our 128 encounter. Of course, the second time, I get it right. 
I'm not catching a po these Pokemon again. I will give it one more chance because this grass seems amazing. Because th this this area seems amazing. If it gives me another one of them, then I'm gonna fish. Tanashi, no! I will not catch you again. I'm sorry. Alright, we're fishing right here. Nope. I can hear it. I can hear everyone in the comments. Catch it again! Catch it again! It's a pure power Suicune! No, I have a Kabutops. I'm not doing this. I will not catch a Pokemon I already had. I don't care if there's not even a nibble. We're going to try again. I will not catch Suicune again. I will not catch Suicune again. And our encounter is a victory bell. Pretty cool. You won't just stay in an Ultra Ball, will you? It'd be really cool if you would. Special Defense Rose? Do that again. Live and I'll catch you. Oh, cool. Alright, Victory Bell, let's go! Victory Bell was caught! We have Victory Bell, the fly catcher Pokemon. The long vine extending from its head is waved about as if it were a living thing to attract prey. When an unsuspecting victim approaches, it is swallowed whole. There you go. And again, another fitting nickname. We have Aaliyah, our new Victory Bell. Now, remember what we gave up for this. We gave up a normal type pure power Suicune that could learn strength for Aaliyah, our firefighting type with shell armor, serious nature with okay stats, with one attacking move. Okay. Maybe. Not gonna add to the team just yet. What we are gonna do is we're gonna head off. Uh, do I still have, do I have super potions? I'd really rather just have a super potion. That's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna go get to the Pacific Log Town. We're at 129. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Lady Ba! Kill it, kill it, kill it. See, what's the point in doing those battles? Man. Wait. The new route, right? Oh! Wait, why do you have a level 30? You are so weak. I don't think I can get up here yet, can I? This route 129. Whoa. All right, so this is route 129. What's our encounter going to be here? A Chin Chow. Why are all the Pokemon that I've caught recently females? Okay, I'm just asking. You have Shadow Ball? Hey, stay in the Pokeball. Okay, this thing will not stay in the Pokeball. Really? Okay, thank you. We have Chinchow, the angler Pokemon. When it senses danger, it discharges positive and negative electricity from its two antenna. It lives in depths beyond sunlight's reach. So we have 
What we say, Maya? Maja. totally just zoned out after we caught that uh what that chin chow so i went back i went back to heal back to the pokemon center to deposit those two that we had uh now we're gonna continue on so we're in route 130 you saw it pop up and our first encounter is a level 10 rayquaza i'm never gonna catch that okay let's evaluate no. I have sand attack. Yeah, I absolutely won't. I mean, I guess let's shift into Sonom. And we'll just sand attack this thing a bunch. So it can't hit us with anything, hopefully. And then I'm going to do this a couple more times because I have a timer ball, I think. Okay, well it hit me with that. So let's see if let's see if we can catch it. Let's see if we can catch it. Wow, I almost actually almost had it. Alright, come on. Come on, stay in the ball. This would be really cool. This would be really cool. It would give us another It would give us another Pokemon to get attached to just to have die in a couple episodes. Don't like that? Don't like that? I only have one timer ball, so I can't use it yet. Ah, come on. All right, good old Pokeball. Good old trusty Pokeball. Come on, Rayquaza. Good, good old trusty Pokeball. C come on, Rayquaza. Good old trusty Pokeball. Are you not staying? You're not even gonna shake once? Okay, I just wanted you to shake once. The question is, how many do I use? There's absolutely no way I could hit this thing. Ah. Uh. Yes! What? We have Rayquaza, the Sky High Pokemon. A Pokemon that flies endlessly in the ozone layer. It is said that it would descend to the ground if Kyogre and Groudon were to fight. We have caught a Rayquaza that we're going to name... Delma the Rayquaza. Wow. Um. So we have an ice. So we have an ice psychic type with huge power. Naive nature. Those are some of the worst stats I've ever seen. Uh, but we have Vital Throw and Sport. It was about to start using Struggle. Wow. Well, you know that's on the team immediately. All right. Let's see if we can avoid everything. We get one more before we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Enough. I kind of don't want to get any- Oh! Crap! Well, we need to end the episode. <laughs> Why'd that do nothing that time? Okay, yeah, we're not gonna do that. So let's go... Just fly back, just like we did before. 
to heal. And we're going to go ahead and call it an episode there. So obviously, we're going to have to have a grinding montage soon. What did we say it was? Firefighting? Ice Psychic. Wait, what was firefighting? Is that the victory bell? The Ice Psychic. That's actually good. I mean, I guess that's... We don't have anything like that. Wow. All right. Well, that does... That's crazy. So that's pretty hype. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And answer our question of the day, which was... I think this was, what's your favorite month of the year? So mine being December because of Christmas music and because of Christmas. And we'll see you tomorrow for the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, the insanely randomized Nuzlocke. But until then, have a blessed day.